So today, uh, today we will check out the DNA tool. The DNA. The first step is to find it uh, uh, in the modeler. The DNA tool here, DNA. And if you find it, you will start it. And you will see this screen here. And here you uh, write the sequence. Here you have uh, some option for carbon, hydrogen, nitrogen, oxygen, phosphorus, uh, etc. Uh, a cylinder for the bonds and uh, a base plate. And if you have made your, uh, your input, okay, you start uh, to build the DNA sequence. And yes, we can have a look to the process. It's a very simple tool. And it's funny to generate uh, thousands uh, of, of uh, fake DNAs, you know, faking DNAs. Later we will instance it, yes? Instancing. We do it later. Okay, now the uh, the DNA tool is ready. The DNA is as uh, uh, hard poly surface geometry here in the modeler. Now we can uh, save it. Save. Object as. Save it. Desktop. Save it as DNA. DNA. So now we can go to uh, the layouter. We are now in the layouter. Yes. Light wave layout. And you see here in the middle one from my DNA combinations outputs. And now you go to the instancer in the object property tab with your original DNA and instance it with, uh, for example, rectangular array. Rectangular array. Yes. My DNA is uh, white here 15 meters, so I give it here 15 meters. I have uh, instances in X and Z. Not in here, Y nicht. I have some scaling random parameters. And that's then uh, the rendering in progress, obtained in progress. So that's all. It's not so complicated. It's a, a little nice tool. You can create, uh, fix uh, some DNA. The sorts of DNA, yes. Tipple, tipple, do something, <laughs> stupid things, and have fun. Okay, so the tool will generate uh, junk DNA now. <laughs> that's all, that's the junk DNA. <laughs> Funny tool, okay? So, I hope you understand a little bit the principle of uh, DNA and instancing. It's funny and it's not so complicated, yes? Okay, see ya later.